Rena, I hope that's coffee because coffee is anti-aging and I heard that was what you were going to ask me about today. Absolutely, because I'm in that age group, I want to know. You couldn't be. Inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> old inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> you don't look that old. <laughs> well, I'm going to be 63. That's exactly how old I am. 1946? I was born January 7th, 1946. It's a good year. So coffee's going to help? Well, coffee, as long as you don't have one of the four side effects of coffee, decreases your risk of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, uh, liver, and ovarian cancer. So coffee has a lot of benefits. Four side effects, um, headache, mm -hmm. abnormal heart rhythms, gastric upset, and anxiety. But if you don't have one of those, the more coffee you have, the more it decreases your risk of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, memory loss, liver cancer, and even um, some others, such as ovarian cancer. Well, coffee is so maligned. You know, what is it in coffee that adds these benefits? Well, there are two things in coffee that adds the benefits. It is the caffeine <laughs> and it is the polyphenols. Okay. The polyphenols, which other people call antioxidants, but they don't really work in our bodies as antioxidants. Okay. They work as polyphenols. Those are the second highest amount we get from anything. You know, bananas are next high, coffee uh -huh. is the highest Americans get. Blueberries and, and for all the color and all the wonderfulness of blueberries, <laughs> we don't have them every day it's like we ironic. do coffee. That's why I'm laughing. Those I'm are, sorry. quote, the, the polyphenols that help decrease the aging effect. So it keeps you mentally sharp is what you're saying to me. It does help you keep mentally sharp. It'll help you run to the bathroom enough too mm -hmm. so that it'll give you some exercise. And you'll be sharp and, <laughs> and aerobically fit. Right. So coffee, anything else that might surprise me that I could use for anti-aging? Sure, there are a ton of things that would surprise you. So we already talked about flossing your teeth when we talked about inflammation. Mm -hmm. But flossing your teeth decreases inflammation and can keep you young. You already know exercise, you mm -hmm. know about aging fats and aging sugars and aging, if you will, carbohydrate if it isn't 100% whole grain. Mm -hmm. um, some of the other things that help keep you young, one of the most important one now that we're all talking about is vitamin D. Ah, yes. So vitamin D, mm -hmm. 1,000 international units a day is what I prescribe to my patients if they're otherwise normal because that decreases the risk of cancer, decreases the risk of type 2 diabetes, decreases immune dysfunction, even decreases flu and decreases cancer as well. Why does it decrease cancer? Because you need vitamin D to turn on your proofreader gene. Did okay. you know you had a proofreader gene? No, I did not. So in every cell you have what's called a P53 gene that reads the rest of your genes, mm -hmm. and if there's a typographical error, it causes that cell to commit suicide. Oh. But what turns on that spell checker, you know, you do it on your computer, you can turn it on or off, but in the body it's vitamin D. Vitamin D. Vitamin D. Good advice, thanks. Thank you.